Hello and welcome to PA 213 week one. We are reviewing for our um, certification test and so I'm excited to, to do that with you. I think it's really important that if you are going to school to be a pharmacy technician that you get certified at the end of this. So I'm here to help you do that. Okay, so in our book, we are in chapters 21 and 22. We are going to talk about those in our lecture today. Uh, your assignment, just a couple of housekeeping I wanted to point out. You are to complete the review questions at the end of chapter 21 and 22, but odd questions only. Submit those to be graded to me um, in Canvas. And then you also have a quiz this week. <clears throat> Sorry, as I'm looking on my computer screen here, let's see what else we have. And then you also have a discussion question that is due. You will need to discuss in this class as well. We can have conversations about um, what you're learning and what you're reviewing. So the discussion discussion question or the class participation this week is why is it important to understand the mechanic mechanism of action of drugs and effects on physiology so we're going to talk about that in lecture today chapter 21 and chapter um, 22 let's start pa 20 213 introduction to pharmacology pharmacology is the study of whenever you see college at the end of a word that means the study of pharmacy so we are studying pharmacy. You get to know what the ins and outs of it is and why it's so important that you know as a pharmacy technician. Let me see if I can. There we go. I couldn't even read it, so let me see. Starting on page 172, if you don't have your book, which I think most of you probably do have your book, but the chapters are online so that you can find them as well. So going into that, um, it starts with the introduction and what is pharmacology. I just told you the study of pharmacy, what the possible adverse side effects are, what the interactions are. These are things that you will need to know as a pharmacy technician to be able to point out very quickly and to be able to notice because you're the ones there at the computer that is filling the medications. Recognizing various forms of generic medications. Generics are a uh, the part of our life in the pharmacy and so that is something that you want to be able to recommend to your patients as well. Uh, proprietary drug no nomenclature. So this is talking to you about how to pronounce medications, how you break them apart, what each section means. Good section. Make sure that you read it because when you go across in a certification exam and you see a drug you've maybe never seen before because trust me, you're not going to know every single drug name, every single drug generic name. There are drugs that are going to be out there that you might not see. Do not worry about that. You don't need to know every single drug. You do need to know for example, if you see a drug ending in Z-O-L-E that you know it treats a fungal or a yeast infection, those are those type of drugs. And so it's going to talk to you about proprietary drug nomenclature, knowing those so that when you see a drug that you might not be able to pronounce, you've never seen before, but it ends in Z-O-L-E, bing, I know it treats a fungal or a yeast infection. Um, so that is, uh, that is something that you need to review in this chapter. Um, let me just kind of skim through here. I want to see, uh, here we go. What happens to a drug after it, it is administered? So this is the, your discussion question. It talks about the absorption, distribution, metabolism, elimination. Why do we need to know about that? Why do we need to know about how that goes through our body? Um, it talks a little, about, little bit about each one of them distribution, that kind of stuff. Because as pharmacy technicians, we are warning patients, maybe even putting warning stickers on drugs about where these drugs are absorbed. So for example, if you're dispensing an NSAID, 
I would say right off, make sure you eat with, with it because I know that that is absorbed in the stomach and it breaks down in the stomach and it can cause ulcers if the patient is, has not ate any food. Uh, that is a side effect. I also know um, that you want to make sure that you tell some patients to take medications in the morning or some patients to take medications at night because you know that they will cause drowsiness or make them awake. Um, and so these things that you need to know of where they're absorbed, how they're distributed, what are the side effects, that that is what you need to know and that's what the patient is looking for you to tell them um, systemically what has happening in their body when they're taking these. Um, at, anticipating adverse side effects. What should they anticipate? What is the drug half-life? How long will this last? What's the elimination? When do I need to take another one? For example, pain medication is every four hours, usually. Sometimes it might be every two hours. So they need to know the half-life so that they can dose up on that. Um, I want to quickly skim through here so that I can get to your next chapter and lecture a little bit about that before. Um, and how if alcohol is a side of or interacts with the medication that you can tell them that. Do not drink alcohol um, with these medications, especially like a pain medication or drug food interaction. These are talking about that. Really great things to know. A lot of questions on the review question will come from chapter 21 in your book. Nomenclature, drug interactions, food and drug interactions, that kind of stuff. So make sure that you read through that successfully. Then chapter 22 is the central nervous system or CNS. Anytime that you see that, you know it's the central nervous system. And man, so much affects the central nervous system. It goes into talking about the antidepressants and how the therapy that it treats for depression and what kind of drugs that that has with it. SSR, SSRI inhibitors. Make sure that you re review those. Those are the big ones. Those are a lot of questions come out from that. Adverse effects, interactions, that kind of stuff. Um, with that medication. Mm. Drugs used in the therapy of migraine headaches. And I can tell you someone that has a migraine headache and coming into the pharmacy just to have so much compassion for them. And um, they're in pain and they need medication and you need to help them get that so that they can get that treated. Tetracyclic antidepressants making sure that you're reading about that. Um, MAOIs, if you don't know what that stands for, make sure that you are in chapter two reading about that. Monoamino oxidized inhibitors. This will be a question on your um, exam and it is an enzyme that is attached, well, I'm not gonna read it to you, but go ahead and read it. Um, I'm sorry, I'm running out of time about that. And then a little bit of more antidepressants. Um, I hope this has helped give you a little bit of information on chapter 21 and chapter 2 that helps stick out in your mind in your review questions. This is what I want to be able to do in the next 10 weeks is to say something key that you'll remember about this. It's easy to go through and just read about these things and, and I'm hoping that you're doing that and you're answering all of the review questions, not just the odd, um, odd you're going to give me for grading, but making sure that you're taking these review questions and you're answering them so that you are ready for your test and ready to take them. If you have a question about any of this in your chapter 21 and 22, let me know. I'd love to answer the questions. If you're wanting to know where to get certified, how do I get started, I want to know that too. Please let me know and I can help you on that as well. I hope you have a great week. Welcome to class and um, can't wait to get to know each of you. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.